Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the tour of my Halloween decorations and I did do a full Harry Potter theme this year. Last year it was very just witchy, but this year I wanted to really challenge myself and do some really cute decorations because I did not have like a Harry Potter wedding. That would have been my preference. So I decided to just have fun with the decorations and I've seen weddings where they do each table like a certain class so that's kind of what I did but I didn't do too much also the only places that are really decorated Hogwarts theme are the living room and dining room which are all one room and then I do have some decorations in our bedroom that I'll show you but that's pretty much it we are starting with the entryway and this is the front door into my apartment so this I wanted to decorate like the journey to the mirror of Erised in the first book so I decided to make a flying key mobile i guess that's what it's called and i used the broom from my wedding that is actually from target and it was clearance but they do have them now um, i saw them they're 20 bucks but they're not sparkly so love this came out it's pretty like self-explanatory um what it is if you know harry potter so here we have the mobile and i did a bunch of different keys that i got at michael's two years ago and this part is stretchy beading thread. The wings are made out of dividing paper, like for binders. I got it at Walmart and I just drew on the wings. Some of them I had a pattern for, but yeah, I just drew beautiful wings and it's hanging on some branches that I just made into a triangle. And next to it is the broom that I was talking about and it's just hanging on the wall. So. You know what to do if you come into my apartment. Also, this is our key hanger. It's from Walmart and we got it when we first moved in and I just think it's perfect and we got it because it reminds us of Harry Potter. Over there is our kitchen and here we just have a welcome sign that I got at Michael's last year and it's so cute because it has this little tiny broom and this is a witch hat. I'm now standing in the entrance to the dining room and the living room, which is back there. And this I decided to decorate like the great hall and I did do a really fun project on my dining room table to transform it into looking like a wood table. And it's actually a desk from Ikea that I had ages ago and it's a glossy finish. So that was just the table we had when we moved in and I finally decided to cover it with contact paper. So here's the table and as you can see it looks like wood and this contact paper I got from Amazon and it just looks so much better. It looks real in the video, it's kind of weird and I just put this um, burlap runner over here, it's kind of annoying but it looks so much nicer than the white glossy finish, it looks so much more homey and I love the rectangle shape but I do want to replace it eventually with a round table but for now it reminds me of the Great Hall which is why I thought it was perfect. These are actually old roses, these dried ones are real and they used to be orange or fall roses but I decided to add some fake ones that I had and make it a full bouquet and I put this little cute pumpkin and we always have our Auli salt and pepper shakers that I got before we even moved into this place because they're just so cute. Do not mind the mess. This is real life over here. Just just look at the cat because that's, you know, a nice view. But beyond the great hall, we have the mirror of Erised right over here. And this was in my room, but I decided to just put it here. I'm um, on the ceiling. I did do floating candles and I did tear apart a bunch of toilet paper rolls to get the inside But I decided to just buy the candles on Amazon because they just look way better and I did buy tea lights with the remote and I was going to make them But then I found these for the same exact price as the tea lights And it was just meant to be man. It was just so easy. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now when it's daytime. It's like very sunny coming in from the um, window and the door because the sun's going down, but it still looks nice. And then I'll put in a clip of what it looks like at nighttime later on. So this is the remote that it comes with. So I'm just gonna turn them on. So they do flicker, which is this button right here. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is just regular, like it doesn't do much. Oh, it still flickers but this is like super flickery. And then you can do the brightness. I wanted to show you how I attach this on because it's so easy 
So this detaches the light and this is nice and stretchy so it can swing and do whatever it wants and it's just taped to the ceiling. It is a loop so it runs off of a AAA battery. So there are two strings as you can see and I basically just, hold on. So what I did was I take one string and put it on one side of the bulb and I make sure that it's on top of the threads and I take the other side, put it on the other side. So now when you look at it, there's a string over here, there's a string over here. And then I just screw it on and I make sure that the strings are inside of the candle. The strings will move, so you wanna make sure that they're not close to each other. You can kind of maneuver them. So when it hangs, it hangs nice and straight kind of. This one's not super straight because I'm doing it up here. And there you have your floating candle. So magical. Also, I did move my clock over there. It was on this wall, but I wanted to do something over there. So I just put it over there. And these are just this cute little, I don't know, hanging thing. Doesn't really go with the theme, but I just put it there because it's cute. And up top, we have, of course, the sorting hat because I just think he belongs in the Great Hall, even though I know he belongs in the office, but it's fine. And then I have this little figure that my friend got for me from Poland. It looks like a little castle, it's so cute. And the pumpkins for some pumpkining. The next thing I wanna show you is the classes. So I did herbology, potions, care of magical creatures and defense against the dark arts. And they're all scattered throughout the living space. So I'm gonna start in the dining room. There's one right behind me that you can already see. So let's go over to the bar cart. So over here we have potions class. And as you can see, we have our potions, fully drinkable because we're adults in my house. And if we didn't wanna move our alcohol, just keep it where it is. But I did add on some cute little things to make it look like a little potion section. And we don't actually pour drinks here, we just store it here. So we don't really worry about things getting dirty or getting in the way. So here we have my spooky tree, which I cannot wait to just take out every single year because it's so beautiful. I love the purple light that it glows, that it makes. And I just put this squishy pumpkin with it. And this over here is like from Target, I believe. Like it's for Christmas. It says coffee on it. I got it years ago. It was storing things in my kitchen, but I took it out and I put little tiny things that I had around the house. So this is dried eucalyptus. Here we have lavender in a pouch and we have incense. These little jars are from Michael's. It came in a set inside of this wooden box and these are fake little like succulents. And this is from a flower arrangement, like a fake flower arrangement. Um, that's very spooky, so I just put that in there because it looks spooky. And then this is lemon extract. I just thought it looked cute, so there it is. Up top we have a bundle, and this is actually leftovers from my bouquet that I bundled up because it looked pretty, so it looks like something that you would just like throw into the cauldron. And then of course a timer because you need to time your potions. Above it is the periodic table of elements that I got from Target like two years ago, and it's from the Magnolia, not Magnolia, what is it called? Heart and Hearth and Hand? Yeah, Hearth and Hand, and I put some spiderweb on it, and there we have our drinks. And back here, actually, I did a funky little DIY. It's not the best, I was too lazy, but this print I got from Geek Gear, and we had this purple book, so I just taped it on top to make it look like it was the book. And then we just have some skeleton bones, this thing. It was somewhere else, but I don't know what it's doing here. And a cauldron for mixing, that is Levi's medication. And then this book that I've had from Michael's. And this is the tarot curtain that I had up on the ceiling last year. So I just put it under there, make it look spooky, you know? Next we have Care of Magical Creatures, which is right behind me. I have Fantastic Beasts up on the wall. Here we have an overview of the wall and we have some cute beasts scattered about. So over here we have a little owl, which is from a Geek Gear box. And he's kind of a funny looking owl, but it's okay. And this is a box that I've had for years from Michael's. 
and it's just a little, you know, house for him. Here we have an owl book, which goes with him. And this is actually a children's owl book. It was in like a kid's section of this cute little gift store. And next to that, we have the most adorable thing ever, my baby Nifflers with their treasures. These are little squishies that I got from some subscription box, I forget. They're on top of a geode. They're just chilling. They're just, you know, relaxing. And this is a bunch of my jewelry that I just don't wear um, scattered about. And it looks like it's so real. Like this is their lounge. And I love this one. He's just sleeping on his back. So adorable. Moving on to this shelf, we have little Picket and Newt's book. And we have a Pygmy Puff that I got from Honey Dukes years ago. And then we have the Zolu, not to scale, obviously, and the Demi Guys print that I have. There's a reindeer that's been there since last Christmas. I just love him, so I refuse to put him away. And then up there is this porcelain unicorn that has a broken foot. It was my mom's or something. I don't even know where it came from, but I love it. And it's always been on the shelf because it's so beautiful. Here we have the living room and this is our little console table that I just put some pumpkins and cute stuff. They're all like fake hard pumpkins. And we have our candle and this says, shine brighter than the full moon on Hallow's Eve. And it's so cute. It doesn't really go there, but Michael put it there. So that's where it's living. And this is from the dollar store from last year. And yeah, that's just like a cute little touch to this table. Here we have the lights that we have um, just draped over some pictures. And this is Defense Against the Dark Arts. Not much going on because I don't know what to put. We have the ink bottle, we have the skull. It is not to size, it is in this glass thing. More little skulls. I don't know what we're doing with this in class, but we have them. And then over here is a lantern with this fake little candle that I put on just for the video. It's never on. And there is a mirror that we have over here and it's just kind of awkward, but it's fine. Moving on to Herbology, which you can see in the mirror. Herbology is obviously one of my favorite classes and we have our beautiful filthy fig with a watering can. This is a table from Ikea that is, um, that was outside, but it's uh, nice and folded up so you can't really tell. Oh, and this is what those glass things were in. So here are the other two. This is what it came in. More succulents. I have Groot back here because he's cute. I couldn't get rid of him. And then we have Peace Lily, and I don't know what that is. And then this, it looks like fake pressed flowers. Just looks nice in there. And then I put some gray creepy cloth and a little follow the spiders. Um, follow the spiders. That's what it is. And then that is Levi's toy. He actually like, loves it and still plays with it. And the curtains just have these decorations, just, you know, bringing out the yellow in the curtains. And this is actually what was hanging above that clock in the dining room. We got some pops with some pumpkins in front of the TV. We got Sora and Heartless. Look at this. My cat started playing with it and now it's all filthy. And in here we just have this little boo pumpkin. I didn't know what to do with it, so it's living with the PlayStation and the Switch. Moving on to the bedroom, which is where I am now. We just have this little um, dresser that's over here and I decided to put some cute stuff on there. So here we have a deer that's pretty distressed. It was from Michael's Craft Store. It's just one of our standard decorations that we really like. And this is another spooky tree. And then one more. Um, pumpkin from the dollar store and then over here we have this bowl that I think was my aunt's I forget and on the bottom we have moss from the dollar store and I put some of the Christmas ornaments or no Halloween ornaments and these pumpkins that were from Target I believe I got those last year these are the original tea lights that I ordered from Amazon and they were supposed to go in the toilet paper like you put it in there but I was like, no, we're buying ones. And Michael said, hey, we can just keep them for the bedroom. And these also run off of remote control. So I have them scattered around the room. And then I put my Triwizard Cup here because I need something to balance out the side over there. So I think it looks really nice and cohesive and really simple. It actually prevents me from putting stuff up here, which is why I decided to decorate it. So that completes my Harry Potter decoration tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a ball editing it. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope it was like bearable and you enjoyed the format. I think it worked out better than an actual decorate with me because 
I'm just indecisive and I'm really bad at decorating on the spot. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.